This is now our third video looking at uh, inequalities and solving them graphically. As I've stated in the last two videos, often we can do these quicker algebraically, but we're expected to be able to graph them. Part A says on the same axis, sketch the graphs of y is equal to 1 over x minus a and y is equal to uh, 4 lots of modulus of x minus a. So if I sketch this up, just consider the first part here. What we've got now is the following. This is simply a reciprocal function that's been moved a units to the right. If we have now, and I'll put them here, 1 over x. Now, if I move that to 2 units to the right, what I'm going to have is 1 over x minus 2. We know if the one on the left is the f of x, then this one right here is the f of x minus 2. So, if I now draw the original graph, the reciprocal graph, let's just get a shot of that. Don't want that bit. What we're going to have is the following, and I apologise in advance that these are never easy to draw freehand on here. So we're going to end up with something looking a bit like that, and that is one side, and then the other side we can end up with something looking like that. Okay, so that is the graph of 1 over x. All that we've done now is move this a units to the right. So if I pick that up and put it just here, and put that just there, what we've got is an asymptote here, and the asymptote is x is equal to a. So let's put that on there, and I'll try and sketch it neatly. Again, I appreciate that this is just a really rough sketch, but it should give you some idea of what's going on. So that is the line x equals a. So let's put that on our sketch. So x is equal to a is the asymptote. So that one's done, uh, and we can say that that is y is equal to x minus a. This one right here is just a basic linear function. If I said to you now y is equal to x minus 3, you know that would be a straight line. We would be cutting at negative 3 and then positive 3 on the x. This one's got a scale factor stretch of 4. So what I'm going to have then is a linear function, and I'll sketch it now. It's going to come through the point here when now y is not, x is going to be a. So if we had it with a, a gradient of 1, it would look something like this. So what we've got is put, putting a gradient of 4 on it and consider that it used to come down here and this point down here would have been minus 4a. Because it's a modulus function, it's now going to be bounced back up off that x-axis and look something like this. So this point right now we've got on here is going to be 0, comma, positive 4a. This point right here is going to be a, comma, 0. So there we go, that's what it should look like. Um, and it shouldn't be too hard to work that out. There's nothing majorly out there. All you've got now is a reciprocal and a linear function, one with a scale factor stretch of four and a horizontal translation, and the other with a basic horizontal translation. In part B it says solve, giving your answers in, term of a, in terms of a constant A. One over X minus A is strictly less than four lots of a modulus of X minus A. If we just think about what this is saying, this is saying when is this graph right here, my green graph, of four lots of the modulus of x minus a above the line. It's going to be above the line anywhere to the left of the asymptote. We can quite clearly see this. If you want to, what we can do is split this up into two bits. You can look to the left of the asymptote, and our modulus function is always going to be greater than the reciprocal one. What we've got to the right of the asymptote, though, is this point of intersection. And we're going to look to find that. And I'm going to put that just there. That's this point right here. We want to know where that is because we can see at this point that the modulus function is quite clearly above the reciprocal function. So let's find that then. So what we've got then, we've got the positive modulus branch and then we've got the uh, reciprocal function. So if we take the positive off this, what we can say is now 4 of x minus a must be equal to 1 over the quantity x minus a. Multiplying both sides by the x minus a and dividing by 4, we're going to get x minus a all squared is going to be equal to 1 over 4. Taking the square root, x minus a is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of a quarter, which is a half. So x is going to be equal to a plus or minus 1 half. Quite clearly, we can see that if this is a, then this must be a plus one half. So x at this point right here is going to be a plus one half. So our, what we're saying, what we want to know is where this line is greater. So we can say it's when x is going to be greater than a plus one half. Or now 
where a is going to be greater than x. So we can say a is greater than x. And that deals with this part right here. We can see as soon as we're coming this side now of the asymptote, this is greater, it's above it. And then with this side of the point of intersection, we've got this. So this is our solution right here. X is strictly less than A, or X is strictly greater than A plus one half. And that's quite a nice little uh, exam style question. I don't think it's way out there, but just get your head around what, it's, what you're being asked to do, and it should make sense. So there, we're done. Um, just looking at it now, thinking of other things. I have made the assumption that A is going to be a positive constant, um, and you can make that assumption. But essentially, that's what we'd need to do. And that would be, again, a typical FP2 exam question looking at inequalities.